Many of you have been asking if you could take the water capture and put it in series. And yes, you can. It's just think of these each cell as an individual battery and treat them like batteries. And that's because they pretty much are batteries. Uh, you can put them in series. I'm pretty sure you can put them in parallel. I don't see why it couldn't. It will increase the amperage, but series will increase the voltage. Um, right now, I got mine hooked up to a capacitor, charging that capacitor. And yes, it does increase the voltage. This voltage plus this voltage plus this voltage equals higher voltage being charged into the capacitor. And yes, it does charge the capacitor. That is a feat within itself because each of these have the same metals. But that's not what I wanted to point out to you guys. What I want to point out to you guys is that little bubbles form on these plates. More so on the tape. But I don't know if you guys can see, there's bubbles being formed around every plate. Yeah, big bubbles too. You see these big bubbles that are also being formed. There's bubbles on each and everybody's plate. This one's got some big bubbles forming on it. Nope. Everybody's plate gets a little bit of bubbles. This one's got some bubbles actually on the plate besides the tape itself. I don't know if that's because it's directly connected to the uh, alligator clip, but you can see there's bubbles being formed. And I do believe, what I believe, that they are and can be hydrogen bubbles. And probably some uh, oxygen bubbles, because as you can see, this has been sitting overnight. And there's no deterioration of the metal at all. And that usually doesn't happen with water bath. You usually see something happening. But there's nothing going on. So. That is still pretty amazing. There you have it. That's in series. And charging capacitor. I believe I put enough of these in series. Um, it will produce or light up a LED. And some people ask does the position of these plates matter? Um, yes and no. Uh, too close and you short it out and you don't get the effect in too far away. And the water starts acting more like a resistor and you get less uh, amperage. So, yeah, it does matter. It's just, uh, I don't know, not as picky, I guess. It'll still work no matter what you do as long as one plate's bigger than the other. So, uh, that's pretty much the main point that you have to strive to get to. And, uh, let's see. The little plate for me has always been negative, and the bigger plate has been positive. I don't know if I haven't really taken notes down to see if it's changed or not, but when I built these three, it was consistently the bigger one was this one, and the little one was this one. So they all were pretty much the same. So, uh, yeah, the fact that it's producing voltage and hydrogen is just astonishing me. So there you have it, guys.